Welcome back guys. Today I thought I'd do a little video on um, the new Manjaro release which was officially released today. Now I had been testing uh, the new release on a separate petition recently and I had no issues with it but my main uh, operating system uh, for a while now has been Manjaro XFCE and I just wanted to go through the update procedure with you guys. Now, if you've if you've been running Manjaro um, XFCE or or KDE, the the two flagship versions, um, and you've been applying the updates as they've been released. Now, there was a large update released this morning, and so it, as long as you're applying the updates, your system should now reflect. Uh, Manjaro 17 Jelavara. Now, there's no reason if you've been running Manjaro 16 or even 15, and you've been applying rolling updates uh, as they've been released. There's no need to download and install the newest version. You essentially have the newest version. Now, I was advised this morning that if you do an update, the latest update which will bring you to version 17 then you will also get the new themes the new icons and the new wallpapers now it looks like uh, you will not get uh, a, one or two things and I'll, I'll, I'll review that with you but if you um, run screen fetch for example <clears throat> you can see that I'm running Manjaro 17 Jelavara but yeah you can see my uh, host name is Manjaro XFCE 1610 because this was a 1610 release but now it is essentially Manjaro 17 Jelavara I'm not going to go and, and download the uh, the new ISO file uh, there is no need to do that my system is running fine now as you can see, the kernel is 4.4.52-1 Manjaro. Now, if I take a look at the release announcement, you can see that the stock kernel is now 4.9 long term support. So, if you want to update to 4.9, you will need to do that through your Manjaro. Uh, settings manager so if you go into Manjaro settings manager then you, then you'll be able to upgrade the kernel now you can see that I am running 4.4.52-1 and the new long-term support kernel is 4.9.13-1 um, I don't have any reason to change I'm not having any issues with 4.4 um, at some point I might upgrade to the 4.9 but there's really no need for me to do that right now and so I'm gonna leave it as it is it's running perfectly as usual um, it's one of the things that I have uh, come to count on with Manjaro is that things just work things just work properly so Manjaro gives me the benefits of the arch operating system uh, and all of the little pluses that um, Manjaro adds to the mix. Now you can see if you've been following the release candidates there have been changes um, right along and the since the 4.3 since the re release candidate 3 came out uh, that's when the kernel was changed, uh, XORG stack was changed, improvements to Manjaro tools and profiles now the new um, what used to be Manjaro welcome is now Manjaro hello um, and I saw that in the notes you see Manjaro hello so you can either choose to, to launch that at startup or not um, but again you've got all of the bells and whistles all of the benefits of running Manjaro on that uh, welcome screen so guys I just wanted to uh, let you know that if you are running Manjaro there's no need to uh, download that ISO just apply all of the updates 
and you'll be running Jellavara. And as you can see, all of the new uh, wallpapers are available to you. And guys, the reason, the main reason that I use Manjaro, <clears throat> as I've mentioned, is everything just works. If you look at the, uh, the my desktop, everything installs as easily as is possible within Linux. You can see I have Battle.net installed. Now I have Battle.net installed through Wine. If you, if I come over to Wine, you can see I have. Euro Truck Simulator 2, I've got Hearthstone Battle.net, and I've also got uh, a Steam version. Now, running Steam through Wine, the intent is to be able to run Windows games in Wine on Linux. That hasn't been the case. Um, very few games actually run properly. If I use Play on Linux, you can see on my desktop I've actually got a Play on Linux Steam install. Now, again, the intent here is to be able to run Steam games, Steam Windows games, in Linux. So, I installed... I installed Steam, as you can see through play on Linux but the problem is that it won't connect to the internet so it will not bring up the store it'll bring up the library but it will not play most of the games so that is something I'm still working on but that's the case with most Linux distributions but with Manjaro my success rate is the highest of any Linux distribution and so, and it's, it's higher than plain vanilla Arch also. So with Manjaro, I'm able to run Battle.net, Euro Truck Simulator 2, Hearthstone, my regular Steam Linux games, and War Thunder with no problem at all. So that covers 90% of my requirements uh, for gaming. And again, Manjaro has the highest success rate for Linux gaming in my opinion. So that's why I tend to use Manjaro as my day-to-day -day Linux distribution. So guys, that is it for this brief video. Uh, now before I go, I want to give one shout out to the Linux Network Forum. Now, this was started uh, recently by a few um, gentlemen who are very much involved in the Linux community. And if you need help with a particular topic, uh, you might want to give this Linux Network Forum a try. You can post your question. There are lots of qualified um, participants on this forum and you may be able to get an answer to your question fairly quickly. Now I try to check the forum, uh, the new posts as often as I can so um, you'll see me uh, popping in and out on the Linux Network forum. For example I just put up a uh, mention this morning uh, on uh, whether or not to swap or not to swap and you can see Garden Shed Tech is the chairman he did uh, initiate this forum he does a great job he's trying to get uh, a little bit more activity on the forum and I'm trying to do my part in helping him achieve that uh, you can see my comment recently and as I said if you do need help with any particular Linux issue uh, they've added so many different subcategories for the forum that I'm sure you can find one that matches up with your particular issue and you'll be able to get uh, an answer fairly quickly. And again, as more people frequent the forum, the, uh, 
the response, the quick response to questions will be improved. So guys, that is it, uh, Linux Network Forum. I'm going to put a link in the show notes for you. Uh, and if you want to stop by, register, put up your comments, participate, answer some questions if you can. If you have any issues, just ask your question. And um, there are a lot of participants that will be able to help you. So guys, thanks for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.